We're down south this weekend, Scoey and I. We're recording the Shelter Footy Cast. Big props to Shelter uh, Barunkova looking after us over the yeah, weekend. What's up, Shelter? What's up, Shelter? Uh, Hammer, what did you get up to on the weekend? We saw a fair bit of you on yep. Instagram. Yeah, we did. Massive weekend for Hammer. Uh, mixing it up a little bit, just getting pissed. Uh, Friday went for just a couple of quiet beers. Del Grotto turned into one of the great steamers. Saturday. What was the sentence you just said? Yeah, I'll get there. Up. Saturday oh, went to OBH, went with bananas, uh, and then Sunday thought, yeah, you know what, I'm going to see what I'm going to do tonight. Uh, and instead of – I thought about going out. Instead, I stayed at home and had 12 beers and two fireball shots by myself. So you've sat at home by yourself. Well, not by myself. You- I was with mates, but they weren't drinking. It was just me. Right. At, t- <laughs> at what point were you pulling the fireball shots out? Uh, to try and convince them to drink with me. <laughs> <laughs> Which How they did that go? Did obviously not well. I had them. What, what number beer in were you before you Six. had your first shot? Wow. Okay. Six was my my first fireball and eight was my next watching one. Watching a sport or? Nah, just sitting in the sun. Oh, we watched UFC. Um, oh, so I had good. a couple there and then um, just rolled throughout the day. And Great. Sounds good. Mm. Hey, Hammer, a question for you. When's the last time you won a golf tournament? Uh, oh, the very first golf competition that I ever entered, I won. But okay. my handicap Brilliant. was 30 and I was 16 and had 44 points. Have you ever won a tournament? I never won a tournament, no. Okay. Well, so there are links to golf winning tournaments on this podcast. Yeah, so mm-hmm. It's not Dan. It's not not me. For you, sure. might, you might actually think it would be Dan. You know, given your trophy I, winning. Ability. I entered a golf tournament once. Servac College represented them. For who? Servac College, where I went to high school for a bit. So you went? Yeah, a couple of years. Mm-hmm. Um, Scoey, any any golf? Just uh, cast your eyes over this hammer. Just just have a look at that. I know our, our listeners can't see it. But yep. YouTubers, I'll give you a quick look. Yeah, at the phone. sure. That's so, a trophy held by four women in yellow jackets. That is right. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, good yeah, enough. Great. Yeah, 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 I don't <laughs> good know. enough. Right. That is my two aunties, a cousin, and my mother in yellow jackets down at the Epworth Golf Day today, 2023, wow. at Huntingdale Golf Club. Beautiful, beautiful track. Over 250 entrants. That's this huge. golf day, this is the Ep- Epworth Hospital golf day, right? So it's a, it's a big tournament. Mm. It's been going for over 40 years, I'm told. Um, there's some with plus handicaps. What does that mean? That means you're so good that you're meant to go under par every round. Wow, so you're really good. Yeah. Well, what would Tiger Woods have? If Tiger Woods had a handicap, it would be like plus seven, but right. you get really good amateur golfers off plus two, plus three. Right. Really? Plus okay. four, you're over, looking to turn Over 240 entrants, some with plus handicaps. <laughs> This group of my mother, my two aunties and cousin, first ladies group to ever win it. Yeah, it's it's massive. a mixed competition. They're playing against blokes. Love it. By the look of the jackets, uh, I tell you what, it's a big bloody win. They are they are oversized yellow jackets. They were expecting the men to win, and the Shit, bloody yeah, girls they were. have done it. Love and it. And they've got a huge trophy. I'm Stick putting that it on one social. Up, yeah. Shouts to Jan. Have you ever seen a happier person than my mother right here? Oh, I wonder how much piss you could fit in that trophy. <laughs> Mate, <laughs> what's Shit, she yeah. holding? Is that a sherry? In Imagine her? how many shelters you could get in that big trophy right there. Probably what a few. camera I'm going to be holding this at? I don't know. Oh, who cares? We'll find one. The Look at it. How happy my mother is. Yeah. Like, Jan Schofield. Happiest day of her life. Hats off to you. Well done. Really yep, Not wearing a hat, but it's off. Really yep, good. There you go. Have um, a little sip of your drink there for her. Yeah. I will. All right. Fat chat. Uh, let's get started mm-hmm. on, on this. Okay. So. Uh, yep. We, I'm going to run through. I started 81. What are you weighing, Dan? Um, well, what, well, what you were weighing 81. Weigh, what, weighing what you 81, weighing Hammer 98.1 you weigh and Scoey 107.8. What did the scales say today that you weighed in yourself on? Um, the didn't, scales. Did, you didn't fucking do it, did you? No, I didn't weigh in. I completely forgot. Well, what? What's the point of fat chat if you're not going to do it? <laughs> what? See, I, that's exactly what I thought. Okay, William. I don't just. I, we don't record the podcast at my house where I can just nip upstairs when I've forgotten to weigh in just to weigh in. Like I, wait, I, wait, I drive I wait at three PM, hours to get here. 5 p.m. Mondays. Um, none of these decisions are based on anything to do with me. You chose to live there. 5 p.m. Mondays, that's when I weigh in. Okay. Did you go home today? Have you uh, been at home today? For a brief, for a brief yeah, moment, yeah. So you haven't weighed in, right? So I would like you to make a commitment to the fat chatters out there. What are you going to do about that? Yeah. Because you've let them down. You I'll have. weigh in tomorrow. Okay, that's fair enough. That's pretty good. Yeah, well, that's a scappy. I'm not sure what you were wanting from him there. A commitment. Yeah, that's a, a commitment. commitment. Yeah, well done. Good commitment. All right, so Hammer started at 98.1. What did you weigh in today? <sighs> You've had a big weekend. I've had a big Again. weekend. Yeah, another big weekend. Come on. Uh, yeah, no, I've gone up from what I was last week. Of course you have. Uh, I was 97.6 this morning. 
Wow. Which was about a kilo above you, what I was last week. It's still down in total. What I've found is I've plateaued at the level where I can drink the amount of alcohol that I'm drinking. About 97, 98 kilos is where I'm at with the level of training that I'm doing and the level of alcohol I'm drinking. What's the date here? Yeah, What's I am time? coming up on I crunch forgot, time. I've forgotten. How long have we got? We've got until April 3rd and i got to lose okay. about eight kilos So now. we're a month out. And I haven't – but I've basically got to lose the same amount of weight we did when we started. <laughs> <laughs> so we're four weeks out in fat chat. <laughs> yep. And you have to lose eight kilos approximately. Pretty much, yeah. What are you going to do to, to make that up? Fasting. So <laughs> yeah. here's what I've thought. <laughs> I'm going to try my best to get to – if I can get to 94 kilos by the Friday before the Monday, you so that would, loot, yeah. so I'm just going to weight cut. I've done a bit of research. I've looked into it. Not going to be perfect for the health. What is actually on the line for you? Other, if your oh, I've got love. Uh, no, well, that's irrelevant because that's non-existent. <laughs> I've got. Uh, I, I get need to, to buy him a wind cheat, wind I've got to buy him a golf jacket, a wet weather jacket, and I get a brand new driver. Which is about a thousand right. twelve hundred bucks. That's I've got that in the kit bag. If I if I lose this, get to ninety four. Weight cut. Don't eat over the Saturday and the Sunday. And then on the Sunday, don't drink any water either. And keep saunering and doing the rest of it. <laughs> Monday morning, wake up. First thing, weigh in. Well, good to go. I have my uh, I don't know mental and physical health on the line. That's yep. basically what I've got on the line. Mm. I'm a hundred and five point one. I believe you yeah. start at one hundred seven point eight. That's up from last week from memory. No, no, actually no, because you had a big dinner. Week. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I had a big dinner. I had a couple of steaks for dinner. <laughs> yeah, nice. Um, I did have dinner and then weigh myself. I'm consistent now. Yeah, okay? yeah. I'm and consistent. you're because you're going to then. You need to lose ten not- though. Yeah. yeah, no, I'm, I'm, it's not going. Yeah, you're right. in similar, you're <laughs> in similar areas to Hammer, really. What about the, my wife keeps saying that you look skinnier? Is that yeah, that's one? and you've, I've seen the work you've been putting in too. It'll pay dividends when, especially when we go the morning weigh in on the when last it, day when it counts, because you know, yeah. you know, I'm setting this up for. I'm not having dinner before I weigh in. I'm oh God, tell no. that right now. Do, but you, but you're not eating like a kilo of food. Oh, Dan, yeah, no, it's a positive space, mate. I'm not sure. Exactly. You need yeah, to, I'm, I'm saying, town. like, I just, I hope you're not hoping that, you know. Oh, well, who the fuck knows what you do, mate? But you haven't weighed in, have you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very true. Can only, I'll take that. That's fine. Fat Chatters, if you want to join up, Discord, that's yeah, where we are. Discord. There's a link on our link tree. Um, if you don't know how to get to that, just just message us on Instagram. Look, Instagram failed us. We had to move to another place. Yeah, and, it was pretty Discord, disappointing, wasn't it? Discord Chris, was you on Fat Chat? Okay. Chris, 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 is, in Chris is in the house our Patreon If you do want to come here and join us You've got to be on the top tier I And mean, that's what VIPs get They yep. come, come here and join um, Chris, yeah, we're gonna not set, on Fat Chap He's singing a couple of lives right. we're, um, we're going to set some dates For the for those upper tiers to join us So it's not just willy nilly We're, we're, you know, we're going to put out some dates in the next little while um, Big announcement happened this week In the AFL world mm. In the esports realm Didn't mm. AFL 23 is coming Oh out. yeah, I did see that <laughs> Uh, Big Ant Studios, yep. creators of the game, um, just a local, you know, Australian gaming company. Mm. Shouts to them. We have contacted them, and I'm pretty confident we're going to get a little early release of the game. Yeah, is it, out? it out there? Is it out? No, it comes out in like a month, I think. Or so, so Adrian, yeah. when yeah. is it, Charlie? Mid April. Mid April thirteenth or something. G'day, Charlie. Oh, Charlie, quickly, Fat Chat, you're you're in on this. You've got some goals. Oh, it's a bad weekend for me as well. <laughs> okay, go on. What have you done? Uh, welcome to the club. <laughs> I was down to. It. I started about eighty eight. Oh. Yep. Down to 81 and a half. I'm back up to 83 and a half. Okay. No, that's Are you fine. on up or down? Uh, up I wasn't this listening. week. Oh, but I, up this week, down, down overall, overall, yeah. Well done, Charlie. Very good. Very yeah. good, Charlie. Well done. Uh, it's so five it's not, kilos down. That's, that's, yeah, that's shit, yeah. Because he doesn't look... It's, it doesn't, it's, yeah, it's doesn't. just alcohol. It's just... Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, I noticed the last few weeks Charlie was bringing in the, uh, you know, the, the zero, the, sorry, not the zero out, the zero carb seltzer. Now he's back. Yeah, I don't mind the seltzers. I don't know if it's out. It's, it doesn't sound like it's out. Yeah, but so I don't know it. what version this is, but Adrian has hit us up on socials. G'day, Age Galace 35 what's up? He sends in a screenshot of his team that he was playing in. It must be like AFL 97 or something. Um, the bench for the bench for West Coast. I'll read out the, the final. So the bench for West Coast, Luke Foley, Dan Venable, Xavier O'Neill. So it's not, it must be a little Jack Petrocelli. That's the bench. The reserves, Braden Ainsworth, mm-hmm. Josh Kennedy. <laughs> <laughs> There's your first problem. Awesome. Jared Brander. Yep. And Hamish fucking Brayshaw. Yeah, sure. yeah. Look, look at that. that. <laughs> so that he, he can't be 97. That's the Did big. he pick me? He bought you on the play. Look how many touches you had. None, probably. Oh, hello. He played his role. Seven touches, one behind, six tackles. Six tackles doesn't six sound Six tackles, like huge. Have well a look done. at that. Andrew sent me this after the announcement got came out. That was on the promo. <laughs> oh, video. yeah, he was getting the fend off. <laughs> that was the promo photo, just getting completely fended off. <laughs> Pretty piss funny. That's good. Um, another big thing <clears throat> happened today, actually, that we saw. The Western Bulldogs. Now, I've got to ask you about this, Hammer. The Western Bulldogs had their like club launch. Um, season launch. Season launch. Mm-hmm. 
they did a jumper presentation for every single player. Oh, piss off. Uh, uh, Sorry, they were walking down this off. long aisle, number one, and then whoever. Uh, uh, who's who's the number one again? Trelaw. Adam Trelaw. And we thought, when Scoey and I saw this earlier, we're like, oh, they're presenting Trelaw his jumper. Oh, because I, thought, he, I thought he was like seven last year or something. But that yeah, maybe Adam giving him a new Hunter. number. Mm. No, Adam Hunter. Lock a Hunter. jumper presentation for every single player. And then they all stood around, t- took a photo. Bob came out, got his jumper. <laughs> it's ludicrous. There's about Waitman. 40 people in the Bailey crowd. Smith oh, out, that is, a- that's pitbull feet ludicrous. That's dumb as. <laughs> yeah. Why would anyone? Well, what's the point? West Coast did theirs and then new players got the jumper. Yeah, you, you get your new jumper. Correct. It's a jumper presentation. Mate, You've got your jumper, you get your jumper. Bont came out. <laughs> Right, and, that, shook, and shook Bevo's well, hand a- and got a photo holding his jumper with Bevo. <laughs> what are they saying? What are they talking about? <laughs> good to see you. It's good to be Congratulations, back. Congratulations, mate. It's another year. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh. I'm butchering by the Bulldogs. Butchering. Yeah, we like no. the Bulldogs, though. We have yeah, no, the social no. media team. They've been good to us. And their no, defenders. I that was we like their back. I thought that was just an interesting – we'll get to the backs a bit later. I thought that was an interesting – I didn't know if that was a regular thing that teams did, but obviously not. No, certainly not. Something that isn't being butchered. Do you remember getting your jumper? Yep. What Who gave it to you? 22. Uh, David Hines, I reckon, gave it to me. Hinesy. Yep. The Cougar. The Cougar. Good looking man. Um, <laughs> that was his nickname. The Cougar. Right. Was it? Yeah. He was, a, he, was a, he was a bloody rooster, that's for damn sure. I don't think that's why. No, nah, he was good looking though from memory. Yeah. Well, they just picked a good looking guy <laughs> out the jersey. No, 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 they didn't name him Cougar because he's good looking. I don't know. Remember, remember. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, so. Um, Back to what isn't uh, being butchered. Back chat tipping is going bananas. Gangbusters. So this is our Patreon only tipping competition. We've got almost a hundred people. By the time this comes out, well, we'll have, you're listening to yeah, this. we'll have a hundred people in there. Mm. Um, we mind. promised some big prizes. It is just bubbling away. We were very vague. We're very, very yeah. Vague. Pretty sure Dan nearly promised ten thousand dollars, but I said it would be under nine ninety nine. It has to be. Has nine. To be. Legally, has legally has to be. Legally has to be. Yes. And um, is shout out to the uh, <laughs> West Australian government. Um, it will be under ten thousand dollars. Definitely, that's nice. What, uh, do what, you can to, we, what can we... Oh, okay. I reckon, look... I, we, okay, we, we, we'll we, say this. Hang on. Just before you get to the main uh, thing, weekly prizes. So that's nice. So it's not one of those tipping competitions where, like, by round four, you're like, I'm so out of this, I'm going to bounce. Well, we did the fantasy thing last year, right? And and yeah. if you were in the running, then there was about three people plus my wife up for, you know, going for the yes. major prize with the Hot Guys team. Yeah. And that was it. Yeah, and that's everyone true. everyone else was so just strangling tough. along. It, was, it wasn't fun. This is different, though, this because you can mm. win the major prize at the end, but every week you can win prizes. So it doesn't matter if <laughs> you're last. fun. It doesn't matter if you're last. It's super fun. <laughs> it's funny. Fun. It's, it's fun. doesn't it's matter more if you're fun. Last. Yeah. It's more fun than doing fireballs at home by yourself. Yeah, that is true. That is true. <laughs> um, can we tell them how much it's- Were oh, they, like, what? chanting for you when you're doing your shots? God, no. I was trying to chant for them. Can we tell them how much- I feel like- I wonder what people. Uh, we said how much was going to be on the line to Chris before he was in the house, and he almost fell. He was on. He was just browsing socials, yeah. a bit bored with what was going on in here. He said, "This is how much it's for." He's, oh fuck! Yeah, yeah. He threw his phone in the air. Yeah. Yeah. So, can we talk about how much we're going to win? I was going to say uh, two thousand dollars cash for two thousand. Christ Almighty! Two thousand bucks. Not, 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 Shut up not and contra, take my money. Cold not, hard cash. Not, not worth of prizes. Not yeah. blah blah blah. We'll blah, get blah. to that. The winner will take two thousand dollars home. Big check. I think we can no, do a big check. About if you want, bucks. Yeah, if you want a big check, <laughs> yeah. that's coming out of the price. <laughs> if you want a big check, again sixteen hundred. So <laughs> otherwise, just get the cash. The back chat tipping competition, two thousand dollar major prize. <laughs> there will be other prizes. Um, we'll oh, give goodness. some complimentaries away. Thousands dollars of prizes. Correct. Throughout uh, the year. Under ten thousand. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. There'll be weekly prizes. Yes. I'm thinking weekly prizes are going to be in the range of two, three, four hundred dollars per week. Amazing. Yeah. It's Christ. Good. It's somewhere there. Somewhere there. Yep. And so we've got a sponsor on board. We not we can't mm. quite give away who that is just yet. We're just working away. with them at the moment. But there's a huge uh, prize pool there. Two thousand bucks. That's $2, crazy. Two thousand dollars cash. If you want to enter, yes. you gotta be a patron. Just mm-hmm. like Chris. You gotta just be a like patron. Chris. You gotta sign up to Patreon. You can do that on the website, backchatpodcast.com.au. <laughs> Uh, right in the front is a massive big sign on right, the Patreon yes. sign up support the pod can I do some maths real quick for you if yeah. you want so please this is really fun um, <laughs> that's, where the, fun. that's where the code that's where the link you can sign up once you sign up as Patreon that's how you get the, the league code the link yep you need to be a patron through the through the that's how you win if you win a, if you win a week and you're not a patron you no price no it goes to the next person right. suck okay. eggs so how many <laughs> rounds of football are there 24 right is there? Like 20, oh, 23, 24. Rounds. So that's about six months. 
Yeah, for footy. So it's five dollars a month to get it on Patreon. Yep. Yeah, six times five is thirty dollars. Well, if you really love us, you could do ten or twenty. You can. You can. But if you just the bare minimum, if that's all you want to do to get on the tipping competition, six months of five dollars a month, that's thirty dollars. So you're putting in thirty dollars to potentially win two thousand. That's. The, yep. oh, I don't know if there's a better way to spend thirty bucks. There's not. There's no. absolutely not. And you can, win, you can win shots. <laughs> <laughs> You'd only get two. Yeah, you could. <laughs> it's all you need. All right. Here we go. Sign up to Patreon. Sign up to the tipping comp. It's going to be bloody epic. Oh, I reckon we get 500 people in it. Is that outrageous? We've got two weeks to go. It is nah. outrageous, but let's go. Let's set lofty goals. I like it. Um, get in there. Two words. Mm-hmm. Ruben Jinby. Oh, oh, fuck yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hammer, Love this kid. Hammer, you... you the boy. You, I'm not going to say that you like told the world about Ruben Jimby, but early on no, on I the podcast... I told the world about him. Okay. Yeah, I did. Early on in the podcast, you said, look out for Ruben yep. Jimby because he's a man. Yep. He's the boy from Dunsborough, the best player ever. <laughs> yeah. oh, I fucking love this kid. Just like the most humble, perfect little guy ever, but he's not little. He's massive. Did you see him? Well, did you see the guard? Did you uh, see yeah. what he was doing? I did, yeah, did of course I did. I took the piss. First <laughs> half, I thought this kid's going to have 50 touches. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I God, what a star. What we're going to do this this, this footy season is we're absolutely getting around Ruben Jinby because he is maybe the Eagles West Coast, like the West Coast Eagles' Lord and Saviour oh to bring them a, back from the brink. Who, he's a star. Who, who's he like? What sort of players does he remind you of? I'm trying to think what sort of players he like. Oh. Sort it's of like, like Bont and Pelly vibes. Yeah. Yeah. He does like have Bont and Pelly vibes. Big, big rangy left footer. Cruisy. Yeah. Just cruise around. But like bit. super quick. An animal. An animal, strong, hard, nut at the ball. Looks effortless when he oh, does stuff. Just glides Is across like, the ground like, like a Clayton, fucking gazelle. Does he have Clayton Oliver vibes because of his looks or not? Oh, not really. Oh, Clayton a little Oliver's bit. a good footy player. Clayton pretty Oliver's good. pretty good at footy. Oh, he's just got everything about him. Yep. Name any best player ever and then that's him. Yep. God, I love him. I'll tell you what else I love about him. Go on. I saw him out Saturday night at the Claremont Hotel <laughs> and like mm-hmm. put, put yourself into this position, Scoey. I mean, I was never in this position because I wasn't as good as Ruben is, but just say you're the first draft pick to a footy club and you come to the West Coast Eagles. It's, it's a two-team town. Yeah. You should be the king of the world at this point. Yeah. And you roll into the Claremont. There's a big line to get upstairs. Somehow you find yourself at the front of the line. It's like, get me up there. And it gets done. Not Reuben. Middle of the line with his mates. Just as humble as a man oh, gets. Oh, I love that. He what a guy. Up. Lined up. up. Oh, I love him. That That's amazing. And right he there. said, Hammer, how are you? Just, oh, what a king. And while you go into the front of the no, line? No, while I was it? leaving. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going up <laughs> no, the No, no, <laughs> no. Back chat podcast. Andrew. Get me out the top. Andrew. Yeah, yeah I'm Andrew Brasher. It's about to get me up there. <laughs> um, yeah, middle of the line with all his mates. I don't think king. you need to see any more football from Ruben Jimby. That's the only story you need to know. Just Ruben a king. Ruben Jimby lines up to go upstairs at the Claremont Hotel. Enough said. Exactly right. And he's, oh, I love him so much. Can we, can we get him on the podcast, please? Is that going to be even possible? Are we going to, is he Mate, we've to... had some big names on this podcast. I don't know. If, I don't know. Oh. We've been chasing Godra, but to be honest, I'd rather the boy right now. Oh, I love him. There's some big names in Western Australian footy that we haven't got, and he's right up there. Yeah, very mm. good. All right, I'll, that's... I'll put him on the. On, he's on the board. That's on, on the board. board. All right, board. He's Chris, board. put it on the board over Thank there. You, Chris. All right, the ES, ESPN, which board. don't really get in the uh... <laughs> best board. <laughs> Staring at a couple of bricks, <laughs> thinking, "Where the fuck's this board?" <laughs> it's a fun board over there. Oh, so much fun. Um, we're gonna have the best chat oh, ever. All right, have fun. So. Uh, other than knocking about town, I've been looking around. Uh, on shut the, up. <laughs> shut up. Shut the fuck up. Sorry uh, about that. ESPN oh. don't usually get involved in the AFL, but they obviously are trying to this season. So they've released their top 50 players of 2023. I thought it'd be super fun if we got a little... Uh, are we going to go through every one of them? <laughs> Number 50. Oh. Before we do that, can, we, can I just get a... Rough gauge as to how knocking about town's going for you. <laughs> is that stuck yet or is that? <laughs> it's it's going to happen. Like, I mean, has it happened yet? I, I, that's the first time I've said it just out in public mm. other than uh, on Insta. No. How'd it go for you? I, really think I think it went down amazing. I think it went down amazing. I don't think okay. Amish is going to let this one go. Number no. 50. Went down like a fucking lead so balloon. So what are we doing? I just want to give you number 50 are for we, now. We're not going to go I'm gonna, And then we're... No, no, no. We're not, people just turn relax. off as we speak. Is number 50 <laughs> Ruben Jinby? <laughs> <laughs> He's up in the top no, 10. No, no. Oh, right. Number mid, 50 middle, is George Hewitt. Who? Uh, midfielder from Carl. Gotcha. Um, I just wanted to... Just, I thought I'd throw that one out there just to give you a sort of a scale. I feel like that seems... Okay. I don't know if he is the 50th. What do you mean? Well, yeah. look, that's that's a tough okay. call. All right, what about top five? You guys give me your top five, and I'll see Bond. if ESPN has Marcus Bontempelli would be in the top five. 
Wrong. Christian Petrarca oh, would be in the top five. Yes. Patrick Cripps would be in the top five. Yes. Dusty. Dustin Martin would be, nah. Max oh, Gorn would be in the top five. Nope. You got two. Yeah, Cripps, I've got Cripps and Petrarca. Uh, Clayton no. Oliver would be in the top five. Yes, correct. I oh, don't know. I feel like these are all. You're normal. missing a. You're missing a, a big one. Brisbane. Like Lockie yeah. Neal would yep. be in the top five. Yep, he's right. okay. So I'm just going to give you the, the five. Well, number, we got four of them. Number five. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Geelong. Go, Thanks for that. Go Geelong. Patrick the Dangerfield. Order, the order. Patrick Dangerfield. Dangerfield. Not Tom Stewart. No. Nope. Jeremy Cameron. Yes. Okay. okay, so this is according to ESPN their top five players in yeah, 2020. He's a pretty good player. Number five, Jeremy Cameron. Yep. Number yeah. four, Lockie Neal. Fair. Number three, Clayton Oliver. Yep. So there's two names left. Which Cri- one do you think takes Cri- number Cripps one spot? Petrarca, Cripps takes one because he was the current round low medalist. Well, You've got to give him number okay. one. So but they've given it to Petrarca. Okay. They've given it to Petrarca. I mean, like, Patrick Cripps I'm, number I'm two. I'm okay with that. Yeah, so am I. I'm fine with that. I, think, okay with I think Petrarca wins the round low this year, so yeah, fair enough. I'm fine with that. There's only two clubs not uh, represented on the list. Hawthorne. I mean, only. I mean, there's 50. So they didn't have one player in the top 50. Two clubs. Two clubs did not have one player in the top 50. Hawthorne. North Melbourne. No, that have Essendon. Nope, nope. Oh, West Coast. Yes, West Coast and North Melbourne. The only two teams do not have a I mean, uh, who's player. North Melbourne's best player? Jai Simkin. Jai Simkin or Luke Davies Uniac. So, like, see, I would have LDU and Jai Simkin. Over George, George Hewitt. at 50. Nick Larkey played pretty any, well last year, actually. West Coast players? M- McGovern? Yeah. Like, M- McGovern, Barras. 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 Shh. Yo, I mean, I mean, Jinby. But, like, <laughs> this isn't like... This isn't like Things that they've done in the past. No, it's this, a current. This is, this is a rating for this year coming up. So yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean. Anyways, that was. I mean, there's nothing else really to it. I just like who's to West th- Coast best player? McGovern. McGovern. Yeah, McGovern. And he probably fits in your well, top fifty not best in players. Fifty. I mean, fucking seriously. That's it. Spare look, me. Nah, have a look at you. No, nah, no. Nah. All right. And Jimmy's not in there. Yeah. Jimmy's not in there. Remember when Matt Rowe was in the top fifty in the uh, oh, in the West after four games? Boy, boy, he was like thirtieth yeah. in the after five games. Is he still on the list? Yeah. Okay. Do you want me? I'll see if he's in this one. Uh, I wouldn't he, have thought so. What's his name? Matt Rowe. Matthew Rowe. No, he's not in it. I wouldn't have thought. I'd say the only one is... Took Miller. Took Miller. Yep. Okay. Uh, I want to th- I want to show you this picture that I found on Reddit. Um, actually, it's just a set of pictures. Noah Anderson should be in it too if George Pewitt is anyway. That's just my opinion. Yeah. Someone's found this... Who's 40? Do you have them? 49, yeah. 48, 47? Who's, is like, who's the last five? Okay. Yeah. Sorry. I'll, I'll give you that. No, that's fine. Uh, Thanks. Okay. 49. <laughs> That's fine. Also. Awesome. 49, Jack Crisp. 48, Nat Fife. Nat Fife, 48. 47, Aaron Norton. I would have I would him have much him higher. Way higher. Yeah. Zach Bailey, 46. Zach, Zach Bailey. Bailey. Brisbane. 45, Lance Franklin. Let's Zach go. Bailey. Yep. Max Gorn, 44. Max Gorn, 44. Bailey Fritch, he 43. The top what the fuck? Bailey Smith, 42. Who'd you say, Fritch? Who is doing this? ESPN. Luke Parker, 41. That's ESPN, yeah. Oh, yeah, 40. okay. Well, they're just... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you just want to go through <laughs> no, the whole few? I just want 40. Uh, and I also want 22. Pendle- Pendlebury. Who's number 22? <laughs> <laughs> and then 31. <laughs> uh, 22, Zach Merritt. What did you say? 31. 31. Zach Merritt's 22. Darcy Moore and Aaron 31. Norton's forty-seven. Buddy Darcy Franklin's Moore's 40. in there, like Tom Brass, Jeremy McGovern, and Darcy Moore. They're, they're you know, come on, come on. I'd love to see All the right. algorithm for this, but anyway. All right, I'm going to give you it's one. AI. They've chat GPT. Yeah, chat GPT'd it. All right, have a look at the screen here. So someone's found this gem of a thing in Chicago. Now it is the 1994 Chicago. men of the AFL calendar. Wow. So oh my God. Uh, in Chicago. Yeah, someone's just found it in Chicago. Let's let's put it there so you can see it. So that's that's the cover of it. Um, <laughs> we've got Chris Grant. Hey, can you, can you please zoom in? <laughs> You're looking at a very small laptop screen in front of you, and I'm Correct. looking. Hang why, on, hang on. why do we do this each time? There we go. Thank Even you. still, like there's a lot more room to zoom in. I don't need no, to see the blue bits on the more outside. Here. It's, it's, it's more here. It's more there. Yeah, yeah but yeah. if you zoom in more, there's still, like there no one needs there to see go. this bit. Chris Grant. <laughs> uh, <sighs> Wait, I'll see if I can name any of them. I don't know who that is. Tony McGuinness. I can't see it still. <laughs> what are you talking Keep about? Going. I can see it. Next. Oh, at- has he got no pants on? <laughs> Anthony he- Rock. Yeah, that's Anthony Rock. I know that. I saw what? him the other day with that. That's <laughs> that's um, Mark Harvey. That's <laughs> Mark Harvey. Is. Yes, it is. Yeah. Is that Mark Harvey? Yeah, that's a good one. And, uh, oh, Lynch. That's yeah. Alistair Lynch. Alistair Lynch. Lynch. Mate, one. look at his yeah, pecs. Yeah, fucking hell. Yeah. I have never had pecs like that in my Far life. Out. Cut like a park statue. That is... I, I don't know who that is. That's just the back of the it's calendar. It's Fabio. 
Uh, that's here it is. Tom that's Scoey before he yeah, shaved his head. Right there, Tom Elwood. There you go. Just want. Can to we show. go back on Alistair Lynch's pecs Billy for a second? Billy Brownless is in there. Billy He's harbouring a cup. That's oh. at least a B cup. Look at those things. He's in jeans, by the way. He's wearing jeans. Jeans <laughs> in the beach. In the beach water. <laughs> Imagine rolling down to the beach for that. Slightly shit. not safe. Falling for work. straight in with jeans. That's very good, Dan. Oh, yeah, that's good. did little, you find little, that when you're knocking about little, town? Or yeah, I was just knocking about town on Reddit and um and and found it there. Let's get to blue bet. It's the right. worst saying ever, Dan. Back chat bets by blue bet. Look, we've, we've. <laughs> I'll tell you what, we've we've done Where some things. The eagles. We've, <laughs> we've done some things in the past. Oh boy, including a lot of losing. Oh, so much. First losing. week, twenty twenty two, we win. Mm-hmm. We went the next twenty weeks without a win. Yes. We were we were horrid. It had Woeful. a lot to do with Charlie having input, you having input, me having input. My legs often got up. Right. Anyway, Damer had input. Cat had input. Indy had input. But we needed our oh. Lord and Saviour. Yeah. Oh, boy. Our Ruben Jinby. So our Ruben Jinby. The first of 2023, we put a Super Bowl bet on. And we said, guys, get on. You don't want to miss out on this. It was guaranteed. And it wins. Sure. This, this is how – I'm going to show this to Scully and Dan. This is how excited I was after we won the multi. <laughs> <laughs> The second Great. bet we put on in 2023, we think, what can we do to continue this one? Uh, we give the keys to Hamish yes. Brayshaw. And and on top of that, there's no there's no footy. I don't think there's any NRL. Oh, they couldn't. I'm not, not allowed to bet on football. Oh, of course. There's, there's no sport. <laughs> Obviously. There was no bet. sport on whatsoever, so you had to dig deep. Yeah. I um, Well, I mean, it I was, was... It was actually less to do with sport, and you can't bet on footy. So yeah, I'm not allowed to bet on football. Do you want to have a go with the thing? Yep. Stay away yep. from footy. Yep. Do your best. I was going to have a crack potentially at the Dolphins on a line. Ended up winning. Wow, I should have gone there. But I didn't. I went What did you do? Shouts to the yeah. Blue Bet Dolphins. Yeah, right? shout out to the Blue Bet Dolphins. Massive win. Uh, Philadelphia Storm. Oh, my horse. I checked the forecast in the morning for Pakenham and it was not looking good. There was showers, there was big storms coming, Mate, but only for race three. There was about six horses scratched before the before Exactly the right. Bounce. And there was a massive storm coming, race three, Pakenham. It jumped like a donkey, just went straight to the back. It was throwing its head everywhere, couldn't stay in a straight line. I was not looking hopeful. It was the first bet, first leg of the multi. I'm thinking, shit, I've let the boys down, let the punters down, let the back chat fans down. Let Blue Bet down. I've let Blue, I've let, well, I've got let Blue Bet up because they were stoked. Yes. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, <laughs> Philly Storm with about 150 to go gets has a can of Red Bull and puts the fucking wings on and goes bang. It's like if you ever the virtual horses when you're at the tab. Oh. It's or it's rigged that I mean you know the algorithm says this thing's going to win. It could be 400 meters back and just win in a minute. Yep. And it, oh, that's a long time to run 400 actually. Anyway, <laughs> this thing's put the wings on and bang, come second place. Tick. Wow. Next up, we you, had. You gave a little text message across the Gave said, a text we're message. We're Boys on, were on. Boys were on. Yep. Tip. Next up, Martin Adams uh, versus Rickwood in the UK darts. Who? What's Who? what's he what? in the terms of like the Ruben Jinby scale? Where's Martin uh, Adams where have you in pulled, the darts? Why, world? why did you go with Martin Adams? Uh, well, I went with Martin Adams because doing a little bit of research into this, he'd versed Rickwood seven times in his past mm. and he was 7 and 0. Wow. So I okay. thought that's science soon to live in. He was paying what it. Was he it, paying? it was about a dollar fifty one. So I said that's good odds. Yeah, we'll take I'll, that. I'll take those odds any day of the week. First to four, uh, four first to four sets, Marty wins at four one. Mar- Wolfie Rolled Adams. Him. Wolfie Rolled wins him. at four one. So that Why was tick. Wolf? Wolfie. Not sure. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> next I thought, well, I was just gauging what Bluebet had to offer. And then I thought to myself, how about go to something that I know? Yeah. Like, I'm not going to go – I don't really know too much about the F1, so I didn't no. want to touch the F1. No. Yep. But UFC I, was on the UFC way, yeah. was on. I'm just getting into that at the moment, mm. probably not confident enough to bet on it. But what I do know is my career in volleyball. Mm. <laughs> so I thought to myself, I'm going to jump on top of the Jongabu KB Insurance <laughs> Stars on the line. Now, they were versing the OK Financial Group, who <laughs> – we're right. much, yeah, they're much better. They're, they're a better side okay. comfortably. Were but you, were you, what were the odds? The odds. Well, I got the cat. They, they jumped the, the, before the first ball was thrown, or before the first set. <laughs> the first ball was set. <laughs> the um, the the KB Insurance Stars were actually paying like four dollars to win the match, right. and okay. the um, the OK Financial Group was paying a dollar <laughs> sixty to win the game. Now, yeah. what I thought to myself was. I don't like those odds, but I like the KB financial stars. Uh, sorry, the KB insurance stars on the line. A dollar, they were plus one and a half, which meant if they got two out of the three sets, they didn't have to win. They didn't have to win. They just had had to either lose three right. two or win the win the game. Yep. The uh, the OK financial group got out to a two 0 lead, and I was fretting. The text yeah, came. The text, the text, text, text came. So I'm sorry. Bro. I said I'm sorry. It's over. I, I'm fretting. Anyway, I'm checking the live updates, which is – you can't watch it anymore. I was, like, I was like, send me the link. You're like, yeah. there's no there's link. There's no link. I'm just watching the live updates. They, they got out to an You're 11. You're just on the Bluebet app. 
Yeah, no, no. I was. I googled. I just googled this match. I was live watching the scores. <laughs> it went to an eleven seven. They were losing first to twenty five. All of a sudden, bang! They get a few in a row. It's like seventeen eleven. They cruise to victory in the third set. So it's two one. Who's who's up? Uh, so the KB Insurance Stars are losing at this point. Right. So they're two one down. They need to win the next set. Gets because it's tw- first to three. First to three sets. It's twenty five points for a set. Yes. The th- fourth set gets to twenty three twenty three. Holy shit! I was nervous. It was twenty three twenty one. They were down. Won the next two. Won the next two to go to, to get it to two all. I celebrated. All, all over. All over. They ended up winning the match. So wow. we could have got on them at four bucks. Anyway, that leg was tick. And then, how did you pick them? In, uh, all <laughs> in all honesty, I was scrolling through. Clicked volleyball, scrolled down, found a random punting thing, uh, found a line, was trying to find about a dollar fifty odds, got him at a dollar fifty three tick. Great, slow. and then I thought to myself, let's get a sure thing to finish it off. Uh, the Barangay Ginebra San Miguel in the Philippines basketball that was signed soon delivered pretty early. They versed the Phoenix, they smashed them. I think they won by thirty points. Wow. It was curtains by the last quarter, which is when I sent that update through. Didn't had didn't know the end of the result, but it was thirty points up, and I thought we at home. So a six dollar multi, good. yep, six dollar multi blue bet. Thank you, if you um, uh, and apologies, but not sorry because it'll be happening you know, more regularly. Super Bowl they lost thousands. This one, millions, I dare probably. say, it, dare say it, millions, millions, yeah. they and made millions. So. So, Blue Bet, if you want to get involved, you can find the links on our Instagram socials. Yep. Um, it's all there. Just click on the thing. We're doing a better week. There's no footy this week. I know this is a bit rogue. Go rogue. Do we roll hammer out again? <laughs> Do we go oh. again? I mean, I've yeah, been told very often in a casino or whatever I'm doing, never leave on a heater. You can't just give them the keys and take them off. That's me. true. Do you want to go again, Hamish? Go rogue. <sighs> Fucking hell, there's a one-legged duck swim in a circle. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> I back, will baby. be there. Back. Fucking hope I'll be right. back. God, I was carrying on like Blue a fuckhead bet. Friday oh, night. It. We're riding home the Korean volleyball. Oh, and, oh, no, and, and, and none of this like building your own multis that Hammer builds like, in other apps. Like, just get on the – it's built on Bluebet. It's on Bluebet. Get it there. Yeah. Download Bluebet. They'll probably – I don't know what their sign-up thing is, but they'll they probably give you something. You're not going to lose lots of money if it loses. Yep. And you'll win lots of money when it wins. Correct. Of course. I've, 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 I've matched bet both times and I've cleaned both of them out. Thanks Thank you I would, um, I would like to just apologise to Bluebet in advance because yeah, you know, maybe yeah, they're they're going be, to hit them again this they, weekend. They may not be in business in six months. So, mm. Do you want me to know. do a proper apology? Uh, I'd like to take this opportunity uh, – what, what, what can I say which camera? Yeah. That one. I'd like to take this opportunity to apologise to Bluebet uh, and any subsidiary companies that are involved with that company. Um, We have won two in a row. Um, That's two from two in 2023. We will be taking that on the road for the footy season after this this week and we will be taking it down 25 weeks in a row. So I would like to apologise from all of us here at Backchat for absolutely taking the piss out of yes. us. And I would like to apologise to absolutely fucking nobody because I'm getting the boys home again and the girls home again this week. Let's Make go. it at three from three. Come on. All right. Let's finish off the back chat Backman's Club. I feel like we've missed people. No, we haven't. We've gone through every club of why their back, uh, back line is going to win we? the championship. Where are we at this week? championship, you reckon? World champions, yep. Okay. Yeah, if the did. Americans do it, let's claim it. Yeah, the, the universe championships. All right, this is off the back of the back chat Backman's Club. Now, uh, the back chat Backman's Club... Hasn't, hasn't got legs just yet, but it will. Don't worry, because the backbone of any footy club, of any team, nay, any... Franchise. Sporting realm. Any sporting realm with backs. Is the back line. Right, so the KB I'm Insurance Stars couldn't have got a out there back three why, months. Right? You worry about that. I'm telling you why your team will win the premiership because of your back line. It's all positive. There's no negative here. Oh, God, it's no. the back line. Right? Exactly. So listen up. Sydney. They make it to the grand final last year. Mm-hmm. They fall over at the last hurdle. Yep. Was it their back line's fault? God, no. Absolutely not. Midfield. All midfield fault there. It's always the midfielder's mm. fault. Hammer knows that. He's a midfielder. Yep. Forward line didn't kick goals. I mean, you can't stop. You can't. It's tough to win games when your forwards don't kick goals, Correct. isn't it? But let's just listen to what they did and who's involved with them. Mm. We've got the McCartan brothers. We've got brothers playing. What I a mean, story that what is, would it be by like, the way. What would it be like to play with your brother? Oh, it'd be phenomenal. You just, wish I was that you'd good. Die, you'd, die for, you'd die for him, The West you? Australian yeah. go ham with that this oh, week. Wouldn't oh, wouldn't they? Yeah. Andy Brayshaw's heading to East Perth. <laughs> yeah. Pretty weird. Play with the brother. Yeah. Tom McCartan. Giving up chances of a pretty in a brown line. Interceptors. Ranks, Tom McCartan's ranked second in total 1% in 2022. I don't know how much more I need to give you there. He mm. spoils, he smothers, he blocks, he does everything. 1%, Doesn't he ever? 1%. If it's 1%, of the time. he'll do it. Paddy McCartan. Doesn't get um, that 2% milk, though. Fuck off. Ranked number five in total intercepts. 
Charlie, might I ask, are some of these stats Sydney or are they AFL? They're the AFL level. Mate, I they, feel like every person we've spoken know, about is I, the, I know. leading. They're all it's, sound similar. It's because it's because they're backs and mm. they're very very good. Um, Robbie Fox, he's got big qualities. Got to be honest, and he's exactly you can do, do what you thought like. Thought he was going to win that. I, I had him for the Norm Smith, and I thought he was going to win the Norm Smith at one point. He started like a, it went out like a German he, band. He was he was in front of their possessions. For he a was long dominating time. the now, first the thing, half. The thing was they were down by about fifteen goals. Yeah, but he was flying. Jake Lloyd, <laughs> he knows what's to do. <laughs> he gets the ball. He's a distributor, two-time best and fairest mm. winner. Um, oh, he just he just does what he wants, Jakey Lloyd, and he's a gun. Dane yeah. Rampy, I, I <laughs> look. I have come out and said that um, Tom Libertore is my favourite player in the league. Mm-hmm. I would say a very close second is Dane Rampey. He's a good, good player. He's had, he's had handlebar moustaches. He's been shaking goalposts. He can clearly have a bit of white line fever. Mm-hmm. He's got he, – he takes blokes on. He wins contests. He plays tall. He plays small. He's quick. He's slow. He's, uh, he's everything. Mm. A good player. <laughs> very good player. I love your – Sound effects you make. Mm. Uh, 2019 best and fairest winner. Don't worry about Ooh, that. 2016 yeah. All Australian co captain. Not only do they not have one captain, they got two of them. They don't have two. They've got three, mate. Three of them. You didn't even know that. <laughs> Did they really? <laughs> yeah, he's one of them. I'll tell you Bloody what. Hell. Um, the other boys, they just do their thing. Sorry, I can't stop without talking about the lizard. Oh, oh, la, la, la. Do you know the lizard? Yeah, Nick, Nick, Nick Blakey. Blakey. Yeah, that's absolutely the right. lizard. The lizard. I believe it's because he's got no neck. Oh, well, no he's got chin. a long. No, he's got the longest neck of yeah, all time. Sorry, thing. sorry. He's got no chin, and he's got like a neck that just looks like a lizard, and mm. he just like slithers around. He comes and if in you and cut out his tail off, it grows back. <laughs> <laughs> he comes in and out of packs. He's spitting down the line. He's an absolute mm. gun. And Sydney, that's why you're winning it. I don't know what you're doing down there in the back line, but you're bloody amazing. I wanted to leave these guys to last, but we're going to go second last. Sure. Penultimate? Is that yeah, that's the yeah. penultimate. Bang. Uh, Love it. Thank mm. you very much. West Coast Eagles. Oh, the mighty coasters. I mean, the forward line, we don't know what's going on there. We don't. No, um, that's true. We no don't. Jack Injuries. Darling. Oscar Allen didn't play a game last year. Mm-hmm. But this isn't about the forwards. This is about the backs. Yeah, it is. We're talking Tom Barras, best and Ferris last year. Come on. We're talking Jeremy McGovern, four-time All-Australian. Oh, yeah, not even in the top 50. Both of those blokes, that's correct, both of those blokes know how to intercept the football. Yeah, they do. Do they? Know, do they? I mean, Look, I mean if I, I said, so. do Tom Barras and Jeremy McGovern know how to intercept the football, what's your answer? Yes, they do. <laughs> correct. Um Tommy Brass was ranked fourth in intercepts per game, fifth in marks per game total. That's amazing. That's Don't know good. if that's true or not. Uh, apparently it is. Ranked sixth in effective disposals <laughs> percentage per game. How yeah, on earth is he not in the top 50 then? Ranked ninth in one percentage per game and can't get a berth in the ESPN top 50. I mean, seriously. Yeah, that's all right. Um, we've got some younger fellas down there. We've got Liam Duggan. I, sure, I will ma. say he's taking his mullet off. Yeah, disappointing. Lost some powers there, I believe. But he's on the toe ball head look, which I respect. Ranked ninth in marks per game. Wow. Is that it, it, uh, that Charlie. can't be true, Charlie. Nah, they chipped it around. They chipped it around a bit last year, didn't they? <sighs> That's really good. Well, I think they did. We're leaving out someone very important, very I would dear have thought to so. my heart. Right, a, a million games. He's a leader. <laughs> he's looked the same since he was 18 years old. Mm-hmm. He's got uh, – it's actually the secret's out. He has one of the – most Adonis rigs you've oh, ever seen. And we oh, bloody yeah. saw it when they came in the, in the show, yeah. the, whatever they were doing with that dress-ups. Shit, yeah. Shannon Hearn. He's left the Shearers at home in Adelaide because he's, he's got a big rug on his chest. He's bald and he's been ta- he's taken it out. He's bald and he's beautiful. And it's <sighs> Shannon Hearn. He's a two-time All-Australian, three-time best and fairest. Um, th- those numbers don't even seem right, but they probably bloody are. 320 games. He's a bloody gun. He's a former captain. He's a premiership captain. He was asked... At the at the dais when he was announced as captain, what sort of captain do you want to be? He said a premiership one. And fucking people laughed at him, and he was just sitting there going, <laughs> "Just a man's man, isn't he?" Elliot Yo's playing a bit bad out back there as well. Two time All Australian, two time Best and Fairest winner. Tell you who he's rotating with though on the ball is Shannon Hearn, a three time Best and Fairest winner. Can you please check that exactly? Shannon Hearn, yeah, three time Best and Fairest winner, yeah. Can I don't continue. Think, has he, Shannon Hearn him won a best in Ferris? Well, that's why I'm just, I'm just, I'm just questioning. Uh, anyway, rotating, while we're right? doing this, do you know who Elliot Yo has been rotating with uh, in the back line? Back line on ball with Ruben Jinby. <laughs> he's down <laughs> He's there. down back. He's absolutely. The boy. So Elliot Yo, Ruben Jinby, and I think Luke Shuey could be going down there. Oh like, is that, if that's not a b- 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 that's not a back triangle, line. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Please confirm. Has okay. Shannon Hearn won one? Shannon Hearn has come second in 2009. Third in 2012, 
third in 2018, and second in 2022. Yep. So he's a four-time appearer on the podium. Yeah, he's a right. four-time podium. That's not what this if says. I, this is Well, just uh, wait, Charlie. <laughs> three-time best and fairest winner. Sure. Or, it, okay, I'll give you now. It says three-time best and fairest. Did it mean that he went to the best and fairest three times? Three-time best and fairest winner at Glenelg or something? Wherever <laughs> Three-time Glendinning Allen medalist. Uh, That's where uh, I could see how BNF, you pressed the wrong buttons BNF, there, Charlie. Yep, 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 yep. Yep. Of the one game of the year. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that, though. Oh, God, yeah. But I mean, I was saying, I was like, this does not sound right. I have not remembered Shannon Hearn doing some of the best speeches of all time. I just remember him stopping forwards and dominating the league for the last 15 years. And never missing a kick. That is correct. <laughs> he missed one on the weekend and he was not happy about it. Mm. There you go. That's the West Coast. They win it. Line. They win it. They win it. West Coast. And I did final. listen to the last week's episode when you said that's the bet at 500 to 1 and that's the reason they win it. And I can't take any financial gain. Okay, thank you very much. Great. We look forward to you benefacting on that uh, blue bet. Western Bulldogs, the final team, as to why they're going to win it. They've just done their jumper presentation to the whole <laughs> team, right? They've just done it, right? So they know what numbers are in. They do. So it's a good start. <laughs> this man here, Ryan Gardner, ranked fifth in one percenters per game. I swear we've had that. <laughs> I swear we've had that. Charlie. He's, he's ranked fifth in one percenters per game. He's ranked fifth in total one percenters. All this man does is <laughs> give one percenters. It's amazing. He's a, he's a, he's just a scragger. We love, love that. them. Caleb Daniel, he's running around there. You know what he does, Hammer. What does he do? Yeah, he just gets the footy and kicks it and then gets handball receives and kicks <laughs> that, it again. And incredible. wears a helmet. He gets sat on by Scully. Yeah, he gets Scully sat on by Scully. Uh, the, 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 the best name in the AFL plays down there, Jed Buslinger. I oh, hope he plays He's a gun, by yeah. the way. Is he, is he's another Perth East Perth boy. boy. Jesus. Uh, gun. Oh, my gosh. Fucking star. Is he? Are we going to get on Ruben Jimmy and Jed Buslinger? Yeah, Jed Buslinger is also a gun. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I love that kid. Uh, Liam Jones, he's bloody back. Oh, yeah, he's back. He, he said, Carlton, see you later. I'm going to Western Bulldog. I'm going to have a, I'm going to year, a year off and just um, yeah, take my time over up in the Northern Territory. And I'm coming back. Liam Jones, mm -hmm. he's back. In 2021, ranked fifth for intercepts per game. Tell you what, he's, the five's a bloody magic yeah. number. Now, Sam Darcy, <laughs> picked number two in 2021, exploded onto the scene didn't last he year. Didn't and he what? I didn't think that. Charlie did. He wrote it here. Exploded, exploded onto, onto the, the scene, scene last year. Didn't he give like a high-flying kick to someone's head it, one game? I don't Could know. Could have done. Maybe. He, he was probably just running because he's 208 centimetres tall and he's probably just running man. on the ground. Look, he's good. Taylor Jaray, I like him both as a person, as a player. He's a two-time premiership winner. Is Ed, he? Ed Richards, yeah. Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> I'm, just, oh, yeah, I'm just waxing on and waxing off here. Yeah. Come on. Forgot about this man. I'm going to finish on this. This is the done. This is the end of the why the backs win premierships. Bailey Dale. Oh yeah. Enough said. 2021 All Australian. Yep. Ranked 60 meters per game. <laughs> ranked eight in rebounds. 50 per game. Fourth in total meters gained. Ranked fifth in total kicks. Ranked fifth in total rebounds. 50 in 2022. Stop Enough the said. clock. Stop the clock. Bulldogs, Bulldogs win the flag. There's so many top tens in the back. Like, oh, shit, yeah. Charlie, I hope you're right with every single one of those. And there you go, just, Western Bulldogs. Can I just That's confirm this? Premiership. This is probably a dumb question. Rank six in metres gain per game. Mm. Uh, per game, ranked fourth in total metres gained. Right. <laughs> okay. Charlie, Charlie. So the per it. game and the total season. Sure. Okay. Here's a stupid question. I'm glad you corrected that. Um, that, was, that was a pretty dumb question. Oh, that wasn't that dumb. Well, we got Lecker on the show tomorrow, and uh, I can't bloody wait. And, you know, I mean, all, all I need to say is you know what happened next. Sees know what happened. You know what happened. We do talk yeah. about that. It's epic. We talk um, about that. Talk about him kicking 12 goals. Yep. Uh, a lot. He, he yeah, well, he brought actually. it up a few times. The, uh, uh, the Channel 7, the 7 plus or whatever it was, with the, the forwards of the year or the decade. No, so, no, yes. Well, yeah, he did. He did mm, yep, we sort of touched on that. Yeah. Uh, lots of good stuff with Mike Lacra. Charlie's, now, Charlie's getting a beer. Charlie's getting a beer. No, All right, mate. thank you, mate. No, That's fine. Mate. All right. I'm Alan Moffat until Friday night. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, until I mean, the fireball shots. Just during out. the week. <laughs> Alan I'm not, Moffat. I'm Is he not a racing that. car driver? Yeah, he was, as okay. opposed to Graham Bonnet, which will be me on the weekend. <laughs> Great. Uh, it's time for You Send It, We Might Read It. You Send It, We Read It. Read it. it. If it's nice, good. Nice. Uh, if it's good. This is by Leadable Cameras. Big supporters of us. Come on, Lydia. To fight if down. If you're, <laughs> yeah. if you're so we did a live show there last week. Tom Barras, Jeremy McGowan. Had feedback. Could be one of the greatest shows of all time. Yeah, it was epic. Leadable Cameras. If you are thinking about starting a podcast or you like filming yourself do things, you can take your mind where you want to go there. Porn. Air, air, 
Look, if you want to start an OnlyFans account, leadable cameras have all the good yeah, stuff. Yeah, no, shit, yeah. No, we're not talking about that. We're not no, talking about we're that. Not. We're talking about podcasts. No, we're talking about, about, about professional filming. They've got everything you need. We went down south to Shelter Brewing Co. We took our entire studio down there. We yep. set it up down there. Wow. Set, took it down in 30 minutes, set it up in 30 minutes. That's our entire studio and all of it's from Lidl cameras. Exactly. So if you want anything to do with it, go see Lydia and he'll fire you. Yeah. <laughs> if you beat him in a fight, I think you get 10% off. I can't wait until That's he fights you, Dan. We do have uh, VIP access and discounts for our patrons. Mm. You use that, have you, Chris? Have you been down to see Lydia? All right, oh, go down see get yourself bro. down there. Off say you Scoey brought you. Around the corner. Get, say say Scoey sent you. All right. I think, what was the deal? You get like 20 bucks back. Yeah, but you have to so, you have to beat him in an arm wrestle. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this first one is from Mike Smith. Hey, guys, I got the snip 10 years ago, straight after the birth of our second kid. <laughs> yeah, he did. Snip stories. I did a fair bit of research into it and went uh, with the Perth vasectomy clinic for two reasons. Nice. Uh, one, it was scalpel free and because the doctor's name was Dr. Snowball. Oh, yep. <laughs> Turns out what? there's other sharp instruments in their kit bag aren't called scalpels. Uh, everything went well for righty, but there was a bit more internal tugging happening on the cords of lefty. Didn't want to let go. And the nurse explained that I had a very fine vas deferens, to which I'd applied, why, thank you. <laughs> Rightly recovered Shit like yeah. a champ, but I had a dull <laughs> ache from lefty for the next few days. Right. The missus thought... Um, this was not gonna that she was not gonna trust the pair of them until I got confirmation the lines were properly disconnected. It's not good. So six weeks later, after ten days of no touchy, I had to drop off my sample, which has been done with an hour, which has to be done within an hour of ejaculation. I guess because otherwise the semen can swim or stop. Go bad. Yep. Please don't tell me what you think <laughs> about what happened to you, mate. Just read the email. Okay, email. living over an hour away meant that I would have to detour to my parents' house to extract said sample mm. before shooting down to Ooh, Mido yeah. to deliver it. It's a bit risky to do it on the drive, isn't it? Yes, of course. <laughs> now I left home that Saturday Sit in morning. the passenger seat and rip one out. <laughs> I thought you meant while catching it to be tough. Um, now, I left home that Saturday morning with a bit of time up my sleeve, but oh. I didn't factor in multiple oversized loads, no pun intended, on Great Northern Highway. Oh, he's going to do it in the car. He's going to do it in the, car. It in the car. This left me about three minutes to get the job done. Plenty of time in, ner- in, in normal circumstances. Fucking, wow. I slipped I like in it. my mum and dad's laundry door to avoid greetings and, and explanations of what I was about to do in, yeah. into my specimen cup Rolled and settled a, down to business. Rolled in with a raging sticky. <laughs> 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 mum and dad, I'm just so happy to see you. Come here, son. Oh. Uh, then I heard my sister's kids come in yelling, where's Uncle Mike? His ute's outside. Rather Ooh. unsettling halfway through a Sherman tank. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you like that, Emma. <laughs> yes. yes. So I had to dig yes. deep and conjure up A-grade material from the spank bank to get the job done. Fuck. Anyway, I passed the test all thanks to my primary school teacher. Oh, oh wow. Hello. Wow, we're reaching reaching back into the bank. Yep. Depths. Okay, next one. This one's from Tom Price. Who was that from? Uh, that was from Mike Smith. Thank you, Mike very much. Smith. That was a great snip story. I was happy with that. Uh, this is from Tom Price. Boys, couldn't help to notice Scoey interviewing the main man, Michael Feder- Frederick, the other day on Pickle. Fox during the free Pickle Rick port. from uh, Rick and Morty. Oh, yep. Yes. Uh, Pre season game. I got to say, seeing Michael is always a very visceral experience for me, which goes back to junior school footy. It was a dark, gloomy morning in mid July, a bit of uh, dew on the deck with a slight chill in the air that tickles the nostrils. Mm. I was a skinny kid playing under 12s, grade A footy in South Australia, Australia, clutching at any aspiration to be like my childhood, childhood hero, Jason Poplizia. Jason Poplizia. One of, the, one of the great half yeah. forwards of all time. Uh, I would. I want to say that Michael... Very, very niche player. Jason Port <laughs> <Jason Pleasure. laughs> and, and I've played on him a few times. Yep. Oh, Continue. very good. He had quite, big quaddies. He's just like... Hurt-esque. Vape around the field. He's quite good. Uh, I want to say that Michael and his brother Martin solely crushed those aspirations that morning. These two boys ran circles around us and I failed to even remember if we got a score. Mm. It's so deeply rooted in uh, not only my brain, but my father's to the point where every time Crows v Frio uh, happens, he never fails to point it out. Hey, that's the bloke who completely ruined your footy dreams. Do you remember that? <laughs> yeah, cheers, Dad. Anyway, yeah. love the podcast, boys. Always uh, give me something to listen to at work. Also, if you get the legend Poplesia on, I'll forever be indebted. Cheers. Ooh. Yeah, that'll be a Jay, big one. Nah, that's nah. What, what, what's what's he doing that, with himself I, these I, days? I'm I wonder. Talking, we're talking sort of early 2010s type areas. I reckon, Charlie, can we just look something up? Jason Poplesia, All Australian squad. I don't think he made All Australian, but I think he was in, in the, the squad. squad. Vape around the field was I'm an interesting say, verb, by the way. 2000, <laughs> yeah. 
2012. I actually thought you might have liked it at the time. Yeah. You've, you've come back on it. I yeah, appreciate it. I that. did like it. I didn't want to say anything because Dan was in the middle of butchering that story again. But, <laughs> <laughs> but that poor pleasure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Nate, this is from Nathan Jennings, who's come in hot. Will Schofield, West Coast Eagles are How a bottom this for? four side. I've read this. 2010, by the way. 2010? Yeah. All Australian squad? Yeah. Nice. Well done. Yeah, really good. Great work. Really good. Porp. I just, I'm not going to read the email. The porpoise. The porpoise. Obviously, porpoise, I would have yeah. thought it would be the porpoise. I'm well, gonna, you can read it if you like. I'm, I'm not going to read it because it's really long, up. and that's the rule because yeah. I read you it. You send it, I we like might it. read it. But basically, he says West Coast are a bottom four side, and Scoey, you are absolutely Scoey out of your brain Scoey thinking you. that you are uh, that West Coast are a top eight side. I mean, read that. He's got a question at the end. I read this whole email. He gave, um, he gave me his thoughts on it, you know, for our West Coast. They're very handy. He's like, Scoey, your question to you. I'm keen to hear your thoughts on the West Coast Eagles' realistic chances this year, but also the realistic chances of the Crows making the leap this year. Uh, Crows making the leap. Let's start with that. Saw them play. Potential. They had a good defensive setup, which I do like. Mm. And they've got a couple of nippy blokes they're liking around the ball in Rochelle. He's a good player, that also kid. Also Isaac Rankin. So they're doing mm-hmm. them inside, <laughs> mid, and forward. And the so, Foghorn's got to get going, I think. Mate, he was very good on he the weekend. He is an enormous man. He shook my hands. I was interviewing him with Fox Footy. He, so this is Darcy Fogarty, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. He's a big unit. He's a big man. Large Not human. Not tall. Big. Just a big, thick-set human being, big. isn't he? So, uh, look, I think they are a ch- they will improve. Do I think they'll play finals? I would have them in the group, same as West Coast, fighting for... 12th through to 6th. Great. Mm. What All do right. I think about West Coast? I'll double down right now. West Coast will play finals. Ruben absolutely, Ginny. A- absolutely fine. I have no qualms in doing that. I would be – I would. it would be just – What would you put on it? It would be weak. Of Can't me. hear this. It would be so weak of me to say last week, West Coast Eagles make top four. Sorry, West Coast Eagles play top eight. Mm-hmm. And then I see them play one bad game and go, oh, no, they're going to be bottom four. What's uh, email this name? Uh, it is Nathan Jennings. Nathan, let's have Nathan. a bet. Let's have a bet, big fella. Um, happy to put on whatever you like. Box of shelters, perhaps. yeah, cart of shelters. Uh, you can take him for bottom four, and I'll take him for anything above. How's that sound? Yep, love that. I like it. Where your mouth is. Very good. Okay, uh, this one is from Jace Winning, and I want to talk about this email because not losing. <laughs> nah, Jace wins. Uh, this this is also sent in by Matt Harris, one of our roaming reporters on the mm. WhatsApp group. This is very good. Hey, Will, Dan, and Hammer. I think I found the professional athlete uh, to be who can outdo Jason Gilby in terms of wild eating or drinking habits. The milkman. Ironically enough, he could almost be considered the anti-Jason Gilby. Who's Jason Gilby? The guy from GWS who only drunk milk for right. three years. Thank you. Yes. I'm talking about Kentucky quarterback and the potential top draft pick in the 2023 NFL draft, Will Levis or Levi's, probably not Levi's. The only thing holding Will back from being a top pick and fulfilling his lifelong dream of professional football is his fear of milk. Apparently, he screams at the sight of the white liquid. <laughs> and NFL scouts are genuinely concerned that it will affect his ability to play in the big league. Screams at the sight of it. So this is legit. This I, I looked this up. There are articles around this to support is this. There this a vision is not of him this. screaming with a glass oh. of milk. <laughs> I saw a video today of a woman screaming at a jar of olives coming out. That was pretty fucking funny. <laughs> so there you go. That could be a thing. Oh. Okay, so a fear of milk is not Will's only strong diet habit. However... He has previously recorded himself on TikTok eating a very brown banana, peel and all. (laughs) I've put the link for that specific video at the end of the email. When asked why he did this, he reported that it tastes just like banana bread. I'm not going to play the video because we'll get copyrighted. Worst of all... Can you show it to us? Worst of all... No, we'll get copyrighted. Worst of all is Will's coffee additive of choice. Okay, so obviously he can't do milk. What do you put in your hot cup of coffee if you are deadly afraid of milk? What do you... Give me, give me some, some orange guesses. juice would be a bad one. Um, like if it's, I'm thinking real out there, like dishwashing liquid. Okay, <laughs> you gone um, liquid? you've seen this. Have you, have you seen this? No, I haven't. Okay, go on. She, no, that doesn't make any sense. It's the same. Don't worry, what I'm about to say does not make any sense. Uh, uh, cooking, I know, uh, cooking, or peanut oil. Um, no, like a, <laughs> um, <very> niche. like a, <laughs> like a sponge. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's mayonnaise. Oh my god. So, 
There is a video um, and he fully legit, he pours mayonnaise into his coffee and he drinks it. That's fucking disgusting. My question to the team is who would you prefer to have in your locker room? The milkman, Jason Gilby, or Mr. Mayonnaise, mm. Mil, uh, Will Levis? Not Mr. Mayonnaise. That's, That's filthy. Oh, that is disgusting. <laughs> oh, I, I really, do you have the link for the TikTok? We, we won't. We won't. How about we just mute okay. it? Okay. Yeah, uh, sure, sure. I really sure. want to watch it. Eating then, a banana with this peel on and it's brown. That is not even a oh. feel. Like, have you had have you had any teammates that have had these sort of ha- weird weird habits? Not to the point of eating having a coffee with mayonnaise in it and drinking only milk. That is ridiculous. You right. No, you don't have to. You don't have to play. Like, you just show it to us. You just turn. No, no, no I, I, it's all right. I think without the sound, like we should be fine. Okay. So here he is. He's just grabbing a banana, chewing it. Oh, oh my god! My god! That he's is just literally eating a banana with skin. Oh, and it's brown. That. Oh, that is disgusting. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think we need to show that. Holy shit. Um, there you go. We'll leave us. So I reckon we're going Jason Gilby on this as our preferred teammate. Mate, yep. if someone rolled in the footy club with- Eating a banana like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm, I had a friend I'm once that would what eat raw sausages. Other way again, what? Raw sausages at a, at a barbecue. He would just grab one before it's gone on the barbie and eat it. Oh, that's disgusting. Is that unhealthy? I'd say so. Can you, can you get <laughs> he died from salmonella poisoning. Yeah, yeah. He's dead now. Yeah, he's dead now. <laughs> His name's Cam Orton, uh, by the way. So, Cam, oh, if you're listening yeah, to this, stop Cam. eating sausages. That's All fucked. right, last email before we get to uh, some fines. Mm-hmm. This is from Mike Smith, the guy who sent that first snip story. It was a little follow-up email. As in yeah. the same... Same guy. Same guy. Send an email a month later because we missed it. And it was so we f- missed that first one. We missed the first one, so we've so chucked it in. So he was the one who, with his nephew and niece in the room, yes. just busted one. Oh, out. Yeah, it was no, primary no, school not teacher. In the room. Yeah, it was the primary school primary teacher. Primary school teacher. He was thinking about his primary, primary school yeah. teacher while his nephew and niece had just run into the house asking <laughs> yeah. where Uncle Mike was. <laughs> okay, so he says, sorry, I just realised I left that? out the punchline of the story. Which oh, wow. Hello. <laughs> the primary school teacher I thought about was from Year Coin Primary School, Miss Piggott. Could have been my mum. <laughs> What Could have say? been my mum. Hamish's mum. Wow. <laughs> I'm telling mum. I'm calling mum tomorrow. Year coin primary school. So have I said that right? I'm not sure. Miss, so why did you say it could be my mum when I said Miss Miss Piggott? Is that Because that was my mum's maiden name and she is a teacher. And if he was in WA, easily could have been thinking about my mum. Apparently Mike was thinking about him. <laughs> Fucking hell. Mike. So I'm glad we saw that second email. I'm humbled. Uh, what do you say to that? I mean, it, uh, it's bloody brutal. What do you Mike. say to that? Thanks. Uh, that's <laughs> no, a weird thanks, thing to say. Thanks for writing in, Mike. Thanks, thanks Mike. Thanks. All right, let's Thinking listen. about my mum far out. Shit. Just well, can we go to fines, please? I'll tell mum tomorrow, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> mum, I've got a great story to tell you. Do you remember Mike? Oh, oh, no, little Mike. He remembers shit. you oh, vividly, as a matter no, of fact. No. Anyway, right, let's do some fines. Thanks, Level Cameras. Yeah, well done. Yeah, thank you, Level Cameras. Uh, we're Guess still donating way. to charities with yeah, fines. Yeah, we are. Because we blow So, no credits, <laughs> please. What's that? Scott, we got credited last week, ripping money yeah. out of Sucker yeah, to Sarcoma. Correct. That's correct. Sucker so, so to Sarcoma. Sucker to Sarcoma. Uh, we're doing Men's Talk and we're doing Sabre. Sabre, which is mm-hmm. our dog refuge home. So, all the guys from Sabre, they were very appreciative of the money you guys raised last year. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've spoken to Men's Talk a week, just the same, and Sucker so, so to Sarcoma. Thirdly, the same. So thank you very much. Last year, we're doing it again this year. But there's something different this year, Daniel. That's right. Instead of writing in fines and making us read them out, and oh, it's boring just listening to Scully read the same thing over and over again. Yeah, we get that in you, Senator. We read it. Exactly. Uh, We are putting, we've put a new function on the website where you can record your fine. So Mm -hmm. no more typing in, no more names. You, it, now you say the name, you record it in yourself, send it to us, it, and we play it, it on the podcast. It couldn't be any easier on your phone. So it's backchatpodcast.com.au right. forward slash fines. It's on the links in the bio in the Instagram. You literally click the link, you click the record button, you speak into your phone, you Hit stop. stop. Yeah, and uh, it sends it to us. We would really love you to say, hey, it's um, yeah, Jazz's dad here. Yeah. And uh, continue on the fine. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Have we got so, any? Is there we, any this we've way? got seven. Oh, shit, yeah. So, look, we'll try to smash through these. Oh. Uh, let, let's just go from number one. Apparently, it's from Gordon. Hey, lads. And Dan. It's Gordon Rams, me here. Just wanted to find Dan's mum. So, clearly, when he was a child, not putting him in speech therapy classes. So, uh, that's uh, two bucks a lovely lady. Thank you. Oh, yeah. got that. I'll Double take that. And she's a lovely lady. Was that Diane? Gordon? Gordon Ramsney. Ramsby. I thought it was Gordon Ramsay. I think it was Ramsay. Oh, yeah, Gordon Ramsay. 
<laughs> Makes a lot more sense, doesn't it? I don't think you need to announce who these people are. I think we can just, but hopefully they'll say right. that. This is from the next person. <laughs> that was a good find. Good day, boys. I'd like to give a fine to Scully and Hammer. Oh. Good. Not realising that Dan was obviously having a stroke in the last episode. <laughs> Fifty one each. Have a good one. That was oh. from Mike. Mike. Hunt. Oh, oh poor Chris is sitting here. Can't hear a fucking can't thing. We got a dead headphones. <laughs> oh, yeah, so sorry, mate. Chris. Uh, can Charlie? Charlie can't either. Oh, he's heard him. All right, next one. That was a good one. G'day, boys. Nick here again. I uh, just wanted to give another fine to my mate Trent. Uh, this time's two dollars total. Uh, one dollar for every day after Tuesday that he didn't listen to the podcast where I find him last time. He ended up messaging me on Thursday. Honestly, poor form, mate. Get on to listening to these quicker. Uh, also, hope you're still doing well, mate. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you're still doing Hope you're still well. Doing Just well. want to sign up for the nice yeah, there. Nice one. Yeah, I love yeah. it. All right, yeah. let's go again. Brilliant. Can't remember what Trent did. Hey, Phil McCracken here. Just a two dollar fine for Scully and Hammer for giving Dan shit about being sun smart. I'm right there with you, Dan Rashi, all the way, setting a good example for your kids. Boys, you should be disappointed that you give them so much crap. Yeah, fuck, I'm fuck with, up, Phil. I'm with yeah. you. I, was, I was waiting for something at the end there. I was hoping he was going to pop uh, down. At team Rashi, Team Rashi, Team, team fuck Rashi. Off. Oh, serious, I'll do shelter. We're doing bombs off the off the off the pier, jetty. jetty down there, Dan, and he's fucking rash. It was <sighs> seven thirty in the morning. He had a rash vest on. Yeah, and, and my tell, budgies. You know what that tells me? You know what that tells me? Yeah. It's not about the sun. There was no yeah, sun out. No out sun out there. It's about Dan's. Dan. I was leaning into the. It's whole more about shtick. you. It's more yeah. about you. Yeah, of course. It's my life. Do what I want. <laughs> <laughs> yes, right, it's enough. about fucking time you answered something yeah. like that. Let's well go to the next one. Over two years for that. <laughs> G'day, lads and Dan. Um, <laughs> Good. I just wanted to quickly find my mate Trent. Four dollars fifty. Uh, we were in Coles the other day, getting the items for a, a late February sausage sizzle. And I looked across to check him, check on how he's going with the onions because now he can't be can't be trusted with the onions. <laughs> I looked over just to see him peeling layer from layer. <laughs> The onion, uh, and putting it onto the scales to uh, to get it down to a weight that he was happy to pay for. Um, really disgusting. Um, not a way to treat treat your local businesses. I reckon that's uh, four dollars fifty for sure. Shit, uh, yeah, it is. Yeah, have a good one, boys. Four fifty for that. And Chris, I feel like it was that good. I need to talk, Chris. Chris, um, this person has just find their mate for peeling layers off an onion so that it would weigh less on the scale when he went to pay for it. Do you think it happened, Dan? Do you think it actually happened? I, sure. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past some people I love these days. These. G'day, lads. And Dan. Because <laughs> I'm a legend. Dan loves yeah, them good. too. <laughs> Keep sending them in like that. Or don't. <laughs> Keep All right, it going. Get go. G'day, fellas. Uh, it's Lost Mafia, a.k.a. Mr. Orskin. A um, bit of an embarrassing find to put forward here, but it's going to be for myself a uh, dollar forty, ten cents per shelter that I consumed at a wedding on a Friday night. Oh boy! Uh, no. And I decided to message Daniel Const, well. who I've never met in my life. Wow! Well. Uh, but I was messaging him as if we were best mates, uh, sending him pictures and I, I think a video of me riding an electric scooter at some stage. Um, so my apologies go out to Daniel. Uh, I've had some really Saturday scaries uh, going through, trying to remember things from Friday night. Uh, but once again, apologies to Daniel. And look, if Shelter could cover my fines, considering uh, the behaviour was induced by them, that'd be great. If not, happy to do so myself. Thanks, guys. Mr. Orskin, out. <laughs> That's right. very also, good. I'd just like to add on Big to that. backstory to this. Mr. Orskin, I woke up at I woke up at 4 a.m. one morning, Filthy. as I do. Filthy. I, uh, Why do I have nine missed calls from a number <laughs> I don't know? I look, at, I look and I text this person. I'm like, who are you? <laughs> the problem was... Who are you? What did he say? Nothing. I just... Oh, I oh. did the whole... I think I did the, like, oh, I lost, you know, numbers or whatever. It turns Why out this person do had, did, had did done do the same thing a month earlier, but I deleted it. Out. Like I was like, I don't. Yeah. How did he get your number? He, long, appara- story, long, long story, but it was long story. taken out of someone's phone. Anyways, <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> it's like long story. Trying to get him to stop saying. It. He's like, oh, long story, but this is exactly what happened. Yes. So uh, it's a pretty short story. Los, Losmuth, um, thanks for the calls, and I just messaged back and I was like, mate, all good. Just rein it in. Like Dan wasn't happy. 
Dan wasn't happy. I just seriously. don't want my wife to wake up to like, who, who the fuck's calling? Oh, I don't know. I lost, just my, on fo- lost my foreskin. The way it's do you not have a do not disturb mode? No, I, I do. But you know, like if someone keeps calling, I think it eventually goes through. No, it doesn't. Only if you have them set as Correct. in case right. of emergency. Okay. I it think. doesn't sound like you do have a do not disturb. I mean, no, I, I do. It goes from 10 till 6. So why would, why did, why would it? Yeah. Well, I woke up and I saw the missed calls. I didn't, I oh, didn't yeah, wake up yeah. from so it. So Beck didn't wake up because of this shit. Let's go to the next one. Legend. Got him. G'day, lads Come. and Dan. Bryce from Melbourne again. <laughs> I've got two fines. First one's for you, Dan. Two bucks. Uh, last time I sent in two different fines. I think you just clicked the same button twice, so you've had a mare there. Thank you, Dan. And then my other fine is for Philip White tiling. Uh, Phil, Phil your Phil. name used to pop up on the podcast all the time. It did. Haven't for- heard from you for a long time yeah. to know what's going on. So two bucks for you, Phil. Make a contribution, mate. That is a call out. Yeah, from, wow. Um, OG back for what was an avid right? member oh, of the pod. That was Bryce, right? Yeah, Bryce. Yeah, was Bryce. Yeah, Bryce and OG. The reason is that Bryce has a bit of credit here. Bryce is an OG guy. Mm. OG, talking OG, OG. And Philip White Tiling. Oh, was God, like, yeah. a, like a fellow OG. Where the fuck's Phil? Yeah, from? I haven't heard yeah. from Philip. From, Phil used from to from send in hypothetical. Yeah. Social media. <clears throat> Everything. Hyp- hypothetical like stories about the his The hypotheticals he was sending yeah. in too, wasn't he? Correct. Let's hope he's all right, firstly. And I'm secondly, I'm I'm I think it would be pretty easy to find out because it's Philip White Tyler. Nah, I'm sure he, used to, he used to go on a few aliases, mm. I think, Phil. Okay. Filthy Phil. All so, right. I hope you're all right, Phil. Yeah. Say us that away. Is that done in fines? I hope the tiling industry that was is treating great. well. That was, that was some good ones. Really yeah. good. Keep sending them in. Backchatpodcast.com.au. Send them in to the lads and Dan. Yeah, you can record it. It's that easy, as you've heard. Uh, that's a bit awesome. from us. Uh, we've got to just give our sponsors a little shout out. We There's do. VIP codes for the following on our Patreon for all of these. Whippersnapper Whiskey, Margaret Rear Roasting Co., yep. Lubet, which mm. we're going to take you down week after week after week. Shelter Brewing Co., thanks again for, t- for having us beers. down there this weekend. That was amazing. Uh, and Leadable Cameras, of course, where we get all of our gear from. And fight people. And fight people. And we're going to fight Lydia. I will make a commitment to get that. We're, we, we're going to launch this multi Friday again, are we? I'll get it. Uh, Yes. Yeah, I'll get it into you by Thursday. Yeah, we'll yeah, have it up so Thursday. So we can have at least 24 hours so to sure. load up. It'd be nice <clears> if the first leg was like Saturday morning, mid-morning or something. Really build it up. Yeah, yeah okay. Just I'm give us a bit more yeah. See if you can get time. some Taiwanese darts get in there somewhere. And yeah, right. I'll have a little look. Um, I'm thinking Slovenian lawn bowls, but I'm yeah. not sure yet. Okay, good. I'll so have really Hammer's taken over Blue Bet. Um, sign up to our tipping competition. Mm. It could, it, it could be I, – I don't know what the limit is on, on AFL. There's none. I checked. I emailed well, them and they, re- they replied and said there is no limit. Infinite Two, limit. $2,000 cash prize. Oh, Become geez. a patron. Clean us out. Mm. That's all yes, I have please. to say. All right. And speaking of patrons, we're going to have a little bit of extra time with you guys now. Chris is here. He's going to ask us some questions. Yeah, great. See you next week. Love it. Love it.